Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Triumphant Thursday. We're so grateful how God has blessed us and calls us to be together again one more time and to have great moments of listening to what his word has to say to us. Today, I invite you to look with me into that Old Testament word of Deuteronomy, the 16th chapter, verses 18 through 20 from the New Living Translation. This is a very powerful word that God gives to us. It talks about how judges are appointed to the people and the people from every tribe. This message is so powerful because it, it begins to help us get some great insights about how judges were appointed in the day and the time of the writings that we get out of Deuteronomy. Now remember, this is when God has uh, working with his children, the Israelites, and how they find themselves now trying to create civil society and to make sure that everybody is treated with fairness and equity. It begins to teach us that each tribe, out of your own tribe, you choose a judge. It's so important that we learn this lesson. The judges look like the people that they judge. Wouldn't it be great in our society that whenever you went to the courthouse, you'll find out that the judge behind the bench looked like all the people that were sitting in the benches. Well, today we live in a society whereby it seems like there is so much inequity. Those who sit behind the bench don't look like the ones that are standing in front of them. And it seems like there's an inordinate number of persons of one ethnic group that are sitting in the benches and those who are behind the bench seems to be a predominant amount of another group of people. This tells us that we need to make sure that judges look like the people that they're judging. Secondly, it says that we should make sure that judges judge people fairly, that they have found themselves wedded to the law and not to their political affiliations. Yes, judges in our state and our jurisdiction, it used to be a nonpartisan race, but now people have their initial of their partisan politics to go along with their name. I believe that skews fairness. We need to have judges who can be fair, not simply because that's ABC's child who's on uh, the stand or it's because somebody else, but we give fairness. It says that the judges must judge fairly. And then thirdly, it says that you must never have those who are judges who find themselves becoming corrupt or they make decisions based upon those who give to their campaigns. Judges in the text says should never be bribed they can find themselves having wisdom and that they are not corrupt. We must begin to ask ourselves as judges are going about looking for office and looking to be appointed for office, do they really find themselves being fair and impartial? If this is true, we must make sure that judges are encouraged to do the right thing by all people. Lastly, he tells us, let true justice prevail. In their day, they wanted to make sure that justice prevailed so that people can live and occupy the land which the Lord God had given to them and that we treat everybody fairly. Today, let's ask ourselves the question, is justice justice for all people? But if it's justice for some people, we need to make sure that judges read this text and that they're living according to the standard that God had for those in the days of old, as well as those of us in our contemporary lives. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Always know you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And God has a great blessing in store for you. And this year of 2023, let it be bigger than you ever thought it would be. And I'll see you on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.